Shares of Kenyan telecoms operator Safaricom surged by more than 9% on Friday after it secured a mobile financial services license in Ethiopia, market participants said. Ethiopia's finance minister Ahmed Shidi on Thursday said his country had given Safaricom the license in one of Africa's largest telecoms markets as the company formally switched on the first privately operated network in the country. It would have taken Safaricom, whose partners include South Africa's Vodacom and Britain's Vodafone, five years to break even without a mobile money license, but it could now take three years, Kimati said. Safaricom's main competitor, the state-run Airfuel Telecom, launched a mobile phone-based financial service called Telebear last year to boost growth by offering cashless transactions. Telebear is now used by millions of subscribers, but Kimafi said Safaricom's M-Pesa financial services platform could seize the lead. Today, we sign off one of the biggest investments by Safaricom, led by Safaricom Kenya, an investment in billions of dollars one of its own kind, as I said, the largest ever investment made by a Kenyan company outside Kenya. Our decision to liberalize the telecommunications sector was anchored in the understanding that our ambitious economic growth strategy is reliant on leapfrogging Ethiopia into the digital era.